Hi, my name is Chase, and welcome to the Wellness Center podcast, where we're going to talk all things red light therapy. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe so you can get updated and notified on all of our newest episodes that we'll be releasing. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy the episode. Hey, everybody, this is Chase, and welcome back to the Wellness Center podcast. Super happy to have you guys here today. Um, I know this is going to come out after valentine's day but i'm filming this on valentine's day so i just wanted to say happy late valentine's day i hope that you all had a great valentine's day actually i hope you had a great week following that and i hope you got all the chocolate and cards and love that you absolutely deserve on top of that i hope you had the opportunity to love someone <sighs> um, i'm filming mine in the morning of valentine's day don't have much planned for the day but i'm going to try and do something special for my wife, so we'll just see how that goes. Um, my wife, if you see this, Keila, I love you. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. I'm going to get right to the podcast. We're going to get right into it today. I filmed a podcast a couple of weeks ago on orthodontic treatment, so like braces, and it was in the middle of my 10-day fast that I was doing, and I called it orthotics the entire time got posted went live my mom my boss she called me and she was like chase kept saying orthotics not orthodontics we got to redo the podcast and keep your credibility I'm like, okay oops so we're gonna get right to it again make sure to like and subscribe so you can get updated on all the recent spot recent podcasts we release them weekly this right here is where my camera's at this right here is where my screen is at forgot i turn on my light so i'm turning on my light there we go much better um Screen is there, camera's here, excuses it on my forehead. I'm super self-conscious of it. Let's get going. So we are going to do another podcast on orthodontics, not orthotics, orthodontics, braces. And we actually, I found a new study. So I'm not doing the same study I did a couple of weeks ago. This one's more recent. And one thing, so there's different types of studies when it comes to Red light therapy that I really love. And I'm like, I learned that I can increase the size of this, which is great. So I learned a, there's two types of studies that I'm starting to see and notice that are really getting really common. So the first is, here's the study. I'm a doctor. I'm a scientist. I'm a medical professional or some aspect. I'm someone in the field of red light therapy or studying photobiomodulation for my specific practice or field or something related to that. And they do their own tests, their own either human or clinical trials, um, they do all the study, they do all the information, they publish it. Perfect, right? I love those types of studies. Those are really good studies. Then there's these other studies that I really love that I believe are coming from like people in school or people doing reports on something. But what it is, is it's um, someone will go and they'll look and they'll have a certain set of criteria. Like we're looking for A, B, and C. And they'll review four or five different web like pages like um, Google Scholar, and other places that publish peer-reviewed scientific published studies or other related studies of like similar topics. And they'll go and they'll find like two or 300 studies or 15 or 20 or 30 or however many they're looking for. And then they'll use exclusion criteria to break it down to like the most prevalent information. And I love these because what this tells me is that I am now, I'm not only looking at just one study by one person, I'm probably looking at 15, 20, 30 different studies that are, um, being reviewed by these people so it helps me get a lot of information in a really quick way and portray the information to you guys in a really quick way so that's what this study is and i'm really excited to go over it with you guys today and i'm going to go over the abstract and the conclusion and if you want i can go over the chart too i might just scroll through it really quick and kind of show you um, but what is orthodontics not orthotics orthodontics is a branch of dentistry that focuses on diagnosing and treating bad bites uh, malo malic occlusions oh, please I'm not an orthodontic. Don't destroy my credibility for not knowing how to say that. Common orthodontic treatments include braces, clear aligners, and retainers. Everyone knows what braces are that I'm aware of. Most people have worn them. Most people had them in junior high or high school. Everyone understands the pain of orthodontics, of braces, or the pain of not wearing a retainer for five years and trying to put it on after five years of finding it. Okay, so now I'm looking on MDPI site, and the title of this study is Photobiomodulation with Laser Technology to Reduce Pain Perception During Fixed Orthodontic Treatment. I make sure to emphasize orthodontic instead of orthotics, because I want to make sure I say it right. Treatment Literature Review and New Perspectives with LED Devices. 
I love this because not only is it red light therapy or photobiomodulation, again, pretty much the same thing, it's with LED devices, uh, laser emitting diodes, which fun fact is what we have here with our full body pots. We use LEDs. So this is like our freaking wheelhouse. This was received the 20th of November in 22. It was revised on the 13th of December. It was accepted January 3rd and published the 9th of February, 2023. So again, guys, super recent stuff. Now, here is the abstract. Despite the growing demand for improving smile aesthetics and oculosal functionality, which I don't know what that is. Why don't we just look that up real quick? I'll show you how I do my stuff. So I just look it up on Google here. Occlusion is the manner in which teeth move against each other during function. Cool. A significant percentage of patients still refuse to discontinue or still refuse or discontinue orthodontic treatment because of pain or discomfort related to this therapy. People don't want to deal with the pain anymore. As consequence, controlling the pain experienced by patients during the same therapy represents a primary concern for both patients and clinicians. Recent pieces of evidence have suggested that photobiomodulation can reduce pain experienced by patients during the decrowding stage or during specific protocols. For example, rapid maxillary expansion. I don't know what that is, but that's an orthodontic thing that talks about quick expansion, I'm assuming of the teeth. Photobiomodulation can be performed with lasers and also with a light emitting diode device. Ha ha, that's what we have, LEDs. Nonetheless, a few studies on the latter are still present in the literature. The aim of this research is to evaluate the efficacy of photobiomodulation with laser devices and pain management in fixed orthodontic treatment. Only 14 of, our, of all articles met the inclusion and exclusion criteria and were therefore used to conduct the research. So again, this is the summary of 14 different studies, which is awesome because we're going to get a lot of information super duper quick. The different studies compared in most cases, patients were, whose mouths were divided into a part treated with photobiomodulation and a placebo part. Top, lower, right, left, this tooth, that tooth. There's a difference. Um, most of their results showed a statistically significant difference in perceived pain between the irritated arc and the non-irritated arc. Three authors did not find statistically significant results in favor of photobiomodulation. So again, it's light and the way every person responds to light is totally different. So honestly, if 11 of 14 studies saying that this is a good chance, especially with no serious adverse side effects recorded in any study I've read, it's worth a shot, right? And especially as cheap as $13 a session potentially here at the Wellness Center, I guess, no brainer. Let's see. But they use different laser parameters. To obtain generally valid studies with consistent and reproducible results, it's necessary to standardize the different laser parameters used. So again, it's hard, right? Because not only is there different wavelengths of light that range anywhere from 600, which is red, uh, the red light to over 900, which is near infrared. So there's hundreds of different wavelengths of light. There's also wavelengths below that too, which are like blue lasers and, and or and purple lasers and different things that are different wavelengths of light that do different things. So it's hard to find um, parameters that are going to be effective for every single person. And on top of that, all of those different wavelengths of light can be hertz uh, pulsed anywhere from like one to 20,000 or 10,000 hertz of light and all of the numbers in between. And then the percentage of power too with each one of those, the percentage of time is pulsed within like a minute's period. So it's, it's hard. There's going to be a lot of study, a lot of research coming out about red light therapy for a long time, but it's cool and it's new and it works. So I love it. Um, LEDs, light emitting diodes, is a less operator dependent than lasers. And photobiomodulation using this technology seems to have a biological basis similar to that with lasers. In some studies, its clinical efficacy and pain reduction in some orthodontic therapies has been verified. Finally, this article aims to consider light laser emitting diodes, LEDs like the ones in TVs. Technology is a future prospect of research on photobiomodulation used in orthodontics. Honestly, I don't need, I feel I need to go over the conclusion or any of the studies with you because again, I've been rambling a lot and I try and keep these under 10 minutes, but we'll just, I'm just gonna skip it. But okay, we know though in orthodontic pain treatment, red light therapy is an effective strategy in reducing the pain. Okay, again, let's do some at-home remedies. We love our at-home remedies. We're getting our at-home remedies today from Bennett Orthodontics. So Bennett Orthodontics, if you're watching this, all credit to you. These are yours, I give these to you. I'm also gonna like post 
I post all the links that I use for like the what is the orthodontics, the uh, the red light therapy study, as well as this type of stuff. So again, all credit where credit's due. I'm not trying to plagiarize. You can eat some soup and soft foods because the warmth increases the cir blood circulation, which helps with pain management. Red light therapy also increases circulation and helps with pain management. Enjoy some ice cream. Finally, there's a reasonable excuse to eat ice cream for dinner. There is never not a reason to have ice cream. Eating cold, soft foods like ice cream will help to reduce swelling and inflammation of your gums. Now, I actually recently saw something. Now, I, I'm going to disagree with this one. I don't, I'm kind of 50-50 on it. But what it said was your body inflaming itself is the body's natural way to start the healing process. And if you're trying to reduce inflammation, you're in some ways trying to stop your body's natural ability to heal. But I also know inflammation is like the starting point of a lot of things. So it's really mixed on my opinion on this, but I've heard a lot of different things. So let's just take Ben and orthodontics as the professionals here. And um, we'll say eat ice cream for dinner tonight if you have um, orthodontics or braces. Use a soft bristle toothbrush, just like a new soft blanket feels better than the rough blanket you've been holding onto for years. I have some people that would argue that point for the emotional connection. Replacing your old toothbrush with a soft bristle toothbrush gives you comfort and will allow you to brush your teeth without hurting your sore gums. Rinse with warm salt water. Salt water will help with the pain and it makes a really cool noise. Gargling water. <laughs> Bennett orthodontics. You guys are funny. And apply wax to the irritated areas on the metal of your braces. Cool, guys. Well, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. If you're not a part of the Wellness Center podcast, or not podcast, I don't say podcast, blogcast, this YouTube channel, please make sure to like and subscribe so you can get updated on all of our most recent stuff. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in and, and listening to me ramble on for the last 10 or so minutes. Have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.